Hi everybody, we've got a video call going with Sharon Barr who has uh, four paintings in our current collection, um, Abstraction, and we're having a chance to talk with her uh, via video. So I'm sitting in my living room, Sharon's in her living room, and we're gonna chat a little bit. Thanks for doing this with us, Sharon. Oh, I'm so glad uh, I can be here from that. It's nice to see you, Danielle, even though you're from Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you're um, you're kind of used to working from home. You have your studio and home, you know, together on one property. I do. So that new situation is my my studio in at the back of our house. We had a old 1920s garage that we took down about six years ago and built a nice big studio for me, although I seem to be filling it up and it's getting smaller and smaller because I do like to paint big, but it's a great space. And uh, I'm actually thinking I'll use this top one to tidy up because it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's funny because you've got some like big paintings behind you. And uh, when we were getting ready for the exhibition too, you sent me a picture of artwork in your in your dining room. So, I mean, however much space we give ourselves to work, it kind of tends to spread outwards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my husband calls it Studio A and Studio B. <laughs> studio A and Studio B, exactly. So, yeah, we wish you well um, getting your studio all organized during this little bit of downtime that we've got. Yeah, yeah. So, and the, it's great that the community of artists on Lock really supportive and fabulous. So I'm really lucky to have a local positive artist kind of supporting me and vice versa. I hope it will be the same for them. Yeah, it is. It's a nice community and it's we're fortunate that we have these ways that we can connect with each other and support each other, you know, from a distance right now. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah. So for our show that uh, your work is kind of a part of right now is um, the theme was um, abstraction. And we brought in a couple of different artists that were really approaching abstraction in different ways. And I would say your work is really uh, near complete abstraction, right? So you're, there's, there's not recognizable imagery. It's all about painting and texture and pattern and color and all of those elements. So what is it that really drew you to abstract painting? Well, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a long journey. Uh, I remember, you know, my teens, I used to draw very realistic things. And uh, we, my sister and I used to go to the museum at the Royal Ontario Museum and draw the, the preserved animal. Oh, really? And, uh, you know, my parents were always really supportive of that. And, I guess I just got a little reinforcement every time we did something like that. I painted people for a long time. Uh, people on the streets knew a lot. And uh, none of them sold. It was, it was tricky. And although I love them, uh, you know, I think I maybe sold a few of those. And I, don't, I ended up going to, uh, to a shelter downtown. And um, I don't know, one day we were kind of walking near, near uh, the woods, and there was this magnolia bush. And I thought, I can start to kind of paint that in an abstract way. And I think that's when uh, a little paradigm shift, my work moved slowly into abstraction for me. When was it that you saw that magnolia bush that kind of got you started painting abstract? Well, it's got to be it's got to be at least fifteen years ago, I think. So a long time. And you've said to us before that you something that you like about abstraction is that it kind of exists out, outside of you know pursuing perfection necessarily, but it's still very beautiful. Uh, what what things about it are imperfect and yet beautiful to you? Well, I think if you if you look at my work up closely, in fact, sometimes I do. Well, all the time I do. I I think it's not going to be looked at too closely. It's more a collective view of how things move on the canvas. It's uh, 
it's not it's not true when you look at it very close. I I find projections are not to me, and I have to take a step back and see how it works together in the whole. And that's when you can leave a work if I feel you know, things things are moving around in a beautiful but slightly ugly way. <laughs> you know? I think, um, yeah, for me, what I see in your work, like when you get up close, what I like about abstract or painterly work is it offers something different from a distance and up close. So when you're at a distance, like you say, you see the whole, you know, the, the colors that you've brought together, all the movement and energy in the piece. Um, and then when you get up close, it's texture and you can see, you know, the bristles of the brush and all these weird little spots of color that you didn't see before. So it kind of offers two really different things, like one from a distance and one up close, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's very, very painterly and I admire um, artists that work in a painterly way. I'm, I'm gradually moving away from using a brush and using different ways to get that paint on that canvas that are mysterious. And um, so moving away from the artist mark, I think it's important for me now. I don't want my, my, somebody to step up to my work and go, oh, she used it for all of that. Or, oh, I can see who did that. I, I think for me, when I see work and I go, how, how the hell did that artist do that? That's when I'm thinking, and I want to stay with that work for a while. Yeah. And I, I want people to look at my work and, and meditate for a time. Um, in front of them. Mm -hmm. Lives are too busy. You know, we need to be forced. Interesting times. We are being forced to slow down. And I think that's the work of museums and, uh, and artists is to uh, force the collective world to stop and take a deep breath. Wow, well said. I think your work definitely offers that. And it's interesting you say that you're taking this technique uh, of kind of using unconventional ways of applying paint so that people are forced to pause even more, right? They, they stop and they think, how did that all come together? Or what exactly am I seeing here, right? right. They take true art lovers, true art lovers will do yeah. that. Well, I always know if I'm going to be friends with a person, if they, if they come into my life and they will look at art for, you know, a time because we find that really attractive in another person that they yeah. actually want to find in front of a painting. For sure. I th like, I love that. Um, actually, you know, one of the things I'm being grateful for this week while we're working from home is spending time with the work that's in my own collection, right? Setting up, you know, so my workstation next to a new piece and like really spending some time with it because you see, see new things all the time, right? And depending on the day, it gives you something new. And it's really important that I think in this time especially that artists support me. Um, I, have, I have a collection of a lot of work from a variety of artists that I love. And I've used I've used the money that I've made to some extent from from sales to kind of boost other people's uh sales. And uh, my my walls are pretty pretty filled with art. I'm, I'm lucky that way. Yeah, me as well. It's nice to be able to support support each other right now. And I'm enjoying all the conversations that uh, that we're having. I can't talk with you and talk with other artists this week as well. Is there anyone that you would like to see us interview this week or talk to on our roster of artists? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, you know, I'm like a super fan of Donna and I have to say she's the one on my list. All right. I will put her on the list for sure. I also really, I haven't met her, but I, I really like her work too. Yeah. Jill, so. Jill Price, yeah. did you say? Jill Price. I really yeah. like her. You've got some amazing artists. So I'm, I'm going to use this time to get more familiar with all of them. All right. Thanks, Sharon. So we did put up on our Instagram before we did this video call, if anyone had any questions to share with you. Um, the one we did get was a kind of business related question just asking, um, at this time, do you have any galleries that are open to the public right now? Um, so I think there, I love, love to carry my work, 
they are very wide and they, were, they closed their doors, which is the appropriate response. And uh, there's the line. We have uh, um, both of them in Oakville, in Oakville, in this gallery in Toronto. Um, amazing people to work with in both of them. And they um, actually took a painting that you love into the, your room and a virtual experience for you. So you can choose to buy it if you, you think it fits. Um, so I guess we're moving to online pieces of art and I think it's very con convenient. I certainly, uh, you know, use Amazon. For <laughs> art books. Reflection. Oh, there's quite a stack of art books you got there. So, yeah, so not for painting. I think yeah. it's a great idea. Yeah, so that same thing goes for us um, at Westland Gallery. We've got, of course, four of your paintings um, available, and um, they're still available online. We're still here every day, ready to talk with people. Um, and we can also, you mentioned briefly the service of being able to, you know, virtually edit a painting onto the wall of your home. So. We're happy to do that. There's lots of ways that we can interact um, with customers at Westland Gallery while we're, you know, close to the public, but we're still here and we're still available and uh, happy to help, you know, facilitate these online sales and shipping and all that. Uh, and you're actually, one little bonus uh, for you is the wall of that the, your artwork is on in the gallery, very visible from the street. So for anyone who's watching who is a Londoner, um, take a wander by the gallery and use those big, beautiful windows that we have at the front of the gallery and take a look at Sharon's work. Okay, that's that's great. So instead of pressing their nose up close to my face, they can press it up to your, uh, to your window. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. Well, good. with me today, Sharon. And yeah, thanks again, yeah, and thanks to Al and all the things you do at uh, Westland. It's fabulous. Thanks. Thanks for sharing your beautiful work with us and your time. Okay, take care. Take care. Bye.